Hello Leo friends, I'm LaTron Devi with Power Life Hypnosis and this is your mid-April 2019 Love and Romance reading. As always, I would like to say thank you to all of those who thumbs up and like my readings. Thank you to all of those who comment and share and thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. I appreciate the support from you all. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, book a reading with me on my website PowerLifeHypnosis.com or you can book a private reading with me right now directly through the description box below. If you're single, you would like to know who your future long to partners when where how you meet your partner where your partner will look like how to recognize your partner and additional details as well as a full reading as to how to align yourself with your future partner and your ideal relationship or if you would like to confirm who your future partner is go ahead and book a future partner reading with me now through the description box below or again on my website powerlifehypnosis.com i also have a new instagram in which i am posting weekly and weekend fortune so if you would like to know your weekly and we can fortune go ahead and follow me on instagram at power life hypnosis and if you have an iphone or an ipad you can contact me anytime through the free instant go app the link for that is instantgo.com slash power life hypnosis the links to my instant go to my instagram to my website and a book of reading with me now are all in the description box below so you can go ahead and check those links out now so my lovely lovely leos i'm sorry my lovely yes leos i just did the virgo reading now i'm doing leo okay so my lovely leos let's go ahead and get started on our reading my fellow leos let's see what's going on for us this mid april this is a general reading so if the messages do not resonate with you please check your moon sun and rising sign videos those messages may resonate or if these messages do resonate you can have a more complete picture of your love and romantic relationships during the ending portion of this month so let's go ahead and get started now my lovely, lovely Leos, my fellow Leos. I just have so much goodness in front of me. I'm trying to figure out where to start. So I have here our overall energy. Of course, I'll get into our predictions. I do have some clarifiers for our predictions. And then I'll get into our guidance and our postcard from spirit. So once again, if you would like to check out your fortune, go ahead and follow me on Instagram or check out my Instagram. Now, okay. It's so great. Where to start? Let's just start here. New love. A new person, Leo's, has stirred your romantic feelings. So we have this energy here of a new lover, a new relationship. For some of you, this can be a lover that you've been with for a while. And maybe during the ending portion of April, you are realizing that this person is someone who you are truly deeply in love with, maybe in a whole new way, in a deeper way than previous connections. And maybe that why this is Maybe that's why this person is coming up as a new love. I'm seeing someone here and I'm just picking up this energy who may have been hesitant at one point. But I'm feeling as though Leo's you may have. Again maybe been uncertain at some point or hesitant trepidatious for some of you this may be a message for one or two of you but during this time you are acknowledging you are recognizing this person you are fully recognizing this person as a new love as a true love as a past life love as well i'm picking a past life love energy here This is going to be a relationship that for some of you may involve marriage. Okay. This can also, I dropped a card, be speaking of spiritual union, spiritual marriage, spiritual commitment. Once again, look at this card. Past life love, past life commitment. 
This is definitely past life energy. Look at these cards. This is definitely past life energy here. So for many of you, this relationship could have involved wedding, marriage, and a past life. Nevertheless, this is also speaking of an energy coming through for a potential wedding, marriage, long-term commitment, soul contract for the positive moving forward in the near or distant future, depending on your situation. Leos, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. This is the energy. So we may be working on our partnerships. We may be working on ourselves as well in order to better our relationships, in order to increase our fulfillment in current relationships. Give your relationship a chance. If you have a sign in Virgo, or cancer go ahead and check out those readings those are the readings that i did prior to this one and i do ask my guides and the guides over all the collectives which reading should i do in which order so they picked out for these mid-monthly readings the cancer virgo and now i'm doing leo and there are some similarities here for example the virgo reading had this car come up as well. So work on your partnership. This can involve, again, working on yourself, first and foremost, because the better we are, the higher we are, the higher the energy we, we resonate, the higher the energy we, we put out. This has a large influence on what we bring to us and the relationships and the people and the circumstances that we experience, right? So work on your partnership. This is a law of attraction thing. Give your relationship a chance. So we will see how these energies fit into our experiences as we move forward here. Now, this is going to be a bit of an extended reading or I just have a few extra cards for you here because these are the cards that came out. So I want to go ahead and provide them to you all. First off, for our first prediction, we have the cards of bouquet, letter, bear. Two cards that came out as well. The sun and the stars. Now, the interesting thing is, I believe it was a cancer reading that I got. Well, we had the sun and the stars as well. So if you have any planets or any signs, any planets, yes, in cancer, major planets in cancer and the sign of cancer, go ahead and check out that reading. Or if you are dealing with a cancer, involved with a cancer, I do recommend that reading. Now, for our clarifies, we have the fortune and the tree. All right, so what does this signify? The first thing that I can see here, Leo's, is a message that is going to be of importance. Now this may be an email, this may be social media, this may be through an app, through an email, through a text message, carrier pigeon, this is written message. This is communication. Now for some of you, this can be verbal communication, this can be phone, this can be face to face, because this is a general reading. So the communications can occur in any means. Nevertheless, I do have here in the center communication that will be of importance. This communication here will likely be one speaking of joy, happiness, 
So a, a communication, a conversation of joy, happiness, abundance, I'm hearing. This is also gifts, big gifts. So this can be a big gift of a relationship, a big gift of the love that you're seeking, the love that you desire. Again, this is a card of joy, pleasant circumstances. This is a positive communication coming here. And this communication that arrives or this conversation that takes place or this communication that you send out because the energies can be vice versa. So we're either going to be receiving this communication. We as I'm Alina Rising, we're either going to be receiving this communication, sending this communication, or we're going to be exchanging this communication. That is positive. Speaking of joy, abundance, a gift. Perhaps we are receiving some kind of message that appears to be a gift to us during the ending portion of April. So this is a really special communication coming through. And it appears as though this communication may be solidifying, I'm hearing, a relationship or making us feel cared for and nurtured. This is speaking of a big relationship. This is speaking of an important relationship. This is speaking of, once again, a relationship where there is nurturing and care. Security, protection. So we may feel taken care of. We may feel whole, nurtured. This is also kind of mothering. So for some of us, we may be receiving a message from the person we have a child with, okay? And for you males, you may be receiving a positive message from a woman you have a child with. These are all possibilities, but we're going to be receiving a conversation or a communication. We're going to be exchanging, engaging in some type of communication that's going to make us feel nurtured, cared for, protected. This is a strong and nurturing relationship. Okay. A strong and nurturing relationship. I also have here the cards of the sun and the stars. So these are two amazing cards for us to have, Leos. These are two amazing cards for us to have, signifying that, first off, if you've had any challenges, if you've had any difficulties, the sun is going to shine a positive light on any darkness. So the sun and the light is going to Come into your relationships and illuminate any darkness, bringing positive energy, bringing optimism, bringing hope, bringing fulfillment of wishes, dreams, aspirations, that in which we are seeking, that in which we are hoping for, that which we desire is going to be manifesting during the ending portion of April or going into May. Everything happens in divine timing, nevertheless. We have the sun shining a positive light on this. We have our dreams, aspirations, our desires, wishes, hopes coming true. We're finding fulfillment. The sun is shining upon us, Leos, and Leo is ruled by the sun. So also for this particular Leo reading, Leos, you have the power. Utilize your Leo attributes. Utilize that power, that courage, okay? Call upon the inner lion or lioness within, and you will be able to attain, obtain, receive your wishes, dreams, desires, hopes during the ending portion of April. What you desire will be made available to you. 
even if this is not during the next 15 days or during that 15 day period, you are solidifying that energy moving forward for it to happen very, very soon. Okay? So. Yes, yes, you are solidifying that you are building a foundation, solidifying your foundation, building the roots, aligning with the energy that will plant these roots that will bring about the manifestation of your desires. Okay? So if you look at this tree, it's like we have the roots, we have the desires, and we have their manifestation occurring. So that's very beautiful. And then we have the fortune card. Use that inner light within you to guide you through any darkness. Because up here, right now, you're here. You are here. So imagine you're at a mall, you're at a shopping center, this is your map. You are here, Leo. And use that inner light use that leo courage use that leo determination all right use that leo energy courage light passion to elevate and ascend and transcend and you're building the roots now you're creating the foundation now you're moving forward towards ultimate fulfillment, joy, happiness. Okay? This is emotional fulfillment. This is, I don't know if you guys can see this. Yes. Okay. So here we have a cup. We have a cup, which is emotional fulfillment. We also have shackles. And these shackles are not on you. So removal of past challenges, removal of past dismay, leaving that behind and gaining emotional fulfillment and joy and happiness and light. Can you tell how, yes, you can, how it's dark here, but look how light it is up here. And this is the direction that you're going in. You're going in the direction of the night of the light. I just realized this is card number 12. Speaking of three energy moving forward, Leos, we're moving forward. We are ascending towards something higher, towards something better, towards the fortune, towards what it is that we truly desire when it comes to love and romance. So keep moving forward, Leos, okay? Keep building that foundation. The manifestation of your desires is coming to you. Success and love. House, receiving a gift. This is our second prediction. Success and love, house, receiving a gift. So, success and love. How beautiful is this? So we have this very, very positive energy. Also, speaking of, so let's see. I'm looking at the cards individually first, and I'm seeing here success and love regarding a stable connection, a long-term connection. Maybe you live with this person. Maybe this is a solid and comfortable relationship. But there is a positive energy here, and it's going to seem like a gift. So we have, ooh, two cards here of very big gifts. Expect a gift. I have to write that down, Leos. Expect a gift. Okay, so expect something great to come. Expect a gift. Expect something positive. And I'm not picking up something small. I'm picking up something major, something large, something significant. There's a significant gift, a significant blessing, something that's going to make you very, very happy coming at the ending portion of April. So enjoy. And whatever that is, I would love to know. So when that gift comes, even if you watch this reading and then it comes later, think of me, let me know. 
what comes because I support you and I'm happy for you. So, yes, I would love for you all to share what good things come to you regarding love and romance this month because I see something very good coming to you. Coming to us as I'm a lioness as well. So, success and love, positive relationships, positive connections, love, happiness, joy, camaraderie, comfort. There may be some good things going on behind closed doors. For some of you, I heard a hotel when I saw this. When I saw this, I just saw a bed and breakfast or a hotel. So for some of you, there may be some good things going on behind closed doors at a bed and breakfast at a hotel. But I do see here something very, very special coming. You're receiving a gift, receiving something that's going to make you very happy. Fortune. All right. So. So for our guidance, I did ask, of course, my guides and the Leo guides or the Leo Connect collective rather which of my mini decks should i use and for these readings that i'm doing today i got the guidance to use my whispers of love deck so i have here actually six cards for you regarding the guidance but i feel as though they go together okay so let's do this first off express love through gifts be willing to express love i love you Okay, now, these cards together are saying, so again, be willing to express love. When we express love, we receive more love. Love begets love. And it's interesting. So if you have a sign or if you have rather a planet in Virgo, if you have something going on in Virgo, go ahead and check out that reading because... We had this message come up as well. So be willing to express love. When we express love, we receive more love. Love begets love. It's interesting how a lot of the time we think that we have to wait for somebody to show us love or it's more important for others to love us or show us love. And then there we feel safe enough to give love out. But now it's time to shift those thoughts shift that dynamic shift that way of thinking and recognize that love begets love so in order to receive more love we must give more love we are here to give love to others okay and only by giving love truly from our heart can we receive love it's not the other way around it's never the other way around we must give love and by giving love that allows us to deepen love with others Please keep that in mind, Leos. Please keep that in mind. Give love out, okay? Give radical love. Do not be afraid to share your love. And do not be afraid to be hurt by sharing your love. Give your love, okay? Do not be stingy with the love. Do not keep the love all to yourself. Love is meant to be given out. Well, we must give love to ourselves first. We must work on our partnerships by loving ourselves first. We must work on our partnerships by loving ourselves first. And then when we have enough self-love to the point where our love well is full, is completely full of love, and we have an access, an excess rather, an excess of love outpouring and outflowing, then we can express love to others. Do not be afraid. Give out your love, Leos. Give out your love. You can express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone it expresses your love to them. So for some of you, you may be giving out big gifts. For some of you, you may be giving out big gifts, receiving a gift, right? Gifts, 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 gifts. Receiving a gift, express your love through gifts. So some of you need to share your love, express your love. Do not hold it back. Do not be afraid because your love is precious. Leo's love so deep. You know, 
we love so deeply. We love love. And as lions and lionesses, we give such deep, such beautiful love to others. So just your love alone is a gift that can enhance, change positively. Create a positive experience. Create a positive experience in others' lives. Your love alone is a gift, Leo, because we know how to love so good that our love alone is a miraculous, beautiful gift. So share it and know that just the words, I love you, just the words, I love you, coming from you, Leo, this can move mountains, okay? This can shake up the sea, all right? This can spark a fire within someone's heart, someone's soul, all right? I love you. These are important words. Share these words. Tell the person that you love that you love them. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of rejection. Don't be afraid of not having your love returned. Share your love with another because you never know what amazing gifts these words can bring to another human being. Love makes the world go round, okay? Love makes the world go round. Love can heal wounds. Love changes lives. Love is what makes the world go round. So you never know what good you can be doing for another person. You never know what changes, what you can do just by sharing the words, I love you. Speak these words, share these words, express these gifts, share these gifts. Be supportive of another. Make a genuine effort to show that you care by expressing your love, by sharing your love. By being loving, don't be afraid. I promise you'll be okay if you're having any fear. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care by showing your love, by sharing your love. Now know that likes attract like. Like attracts like. Once again, love begets love. Like attracts like. The more you give love, the more you shall receive it. It's not the other way around. It's not the other way around. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. This is exactly what we were speaking of. Do not be afraid to be more loving because I guarantee as you share love, as you give love first off to yourself, work on your partnership, I'm working on yourself first. As you give more love to yourself, you increase your love, you become a beacon of love. You have the ability, the fearlessness to share love with others. That's going to bring you more love, Leos. This is a time to attract more love to ourselves. Okay? This is a time to attract more love. Ooh, number two, yin energy. Yin, number one is yang. This is yin. This is attracting love to us. So be open, be receptive to attracting love to you. But first we must have to practice that yin energy and give love, put love out there. That's going to allow us to attract love to ourselves. And Leos, before we get into our postcard from spirit here, this is card number 42, six energy, happiness, harmony, joyousness, abundance, so the last message that's important for us here, we have to take care of ourselves. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. So during the month of or the ending portion of April, we may have to take some days, some 
hours some weeks actually it's only two week period but we may have to take some time to ourselves to rest relax to recuperate rejuvenate to focus on ourselves to increase our self-love that's how we give our relationships a chance by working on our partnerships by taking care of ourselves first so during this period if you feel the need to slow down to rest to relax it's okay go ahead and do that all right go ahead and do that take care of yourself first you have to take care of yourself first you have to be the best leo that you can be so you can give the best love that you can give dearest leo we bet you must be so exhausted some days giving as much as you do sharing your energy so beautifully in service to the highest good can leave you feeling depleted like an empty well if it feels as if there's no more water for you the good news is we have a plan today <sighs> go take a relaxing bath book a massage read a novel buy yourself flowers or plant some in your garden make time for self-care not more work on yourself all right you're perfect you're beautiful you're amazing as is so take time for self-care all right by tending to yourself now you are reminded to do so more often and be sure to use a word that might have caused you anxiety in the past but is essential for your well-being now that word is no say it with us no no thank you no i can't and then go for a soak you don't have to explain just say no gently but firmly life will wait for you to bring yourself back to center replenished and ready for more adventure we love you so very much you are loved leos so thank you so much for checking out this reading thumbs up like this reading if the messages resonate with you comment share subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and if you would like to book a private reading with me book a reading with me at my website powerlifehypnosis.com or you can book a reading with me right here right now directly through the description box below and if you would like to know who your future long-term romantic partner is when where how you meet your partner what your partner will look like how to recognize your partner or if you would like to confirm your future partner that the person that you're with that the person that you're interested in is your soulmate your future partner or not go ahead and book a private reading with me book a future partner reading with me again directly through the description box below you can also find me on instagram where i am posting your weekly and weekend fortunes so go ahead and check those out if you would like to contact me on instant go you can do that as well all the links are in the description box below I'm sending you all so much love, so much light, and I look very forward to seeing you here again soon. Alrighty, my lovely, lovely Leos, again, go ahead and thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you here again for your May, for your May readings. Love you. Mwah. Bye.